Alright, this is Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 2, where students are going to continue adding and subtracting multiple, multiples of 100, and including counting on to subtract. So the idea is, students are still not learning that standard algorithm for adding and subtracting quite yet, because instead what we're doing is we're doing the prerequisite work of helping students develop number sense and meaning before we go teaching them that standard algorithm, which of course they will be learning, just not until we've first given them the opportunity to learn uh, number sense. So what I love about this lesson is that students are given a choice. Um, it says use the arrow way or the mental math and record your answers. So students are given choices on how to solve these problems and that's what I love about this lesson. Uh, because uh, just because the teacher uses one way and a student uses another way, we really want to be careful to not send that student the message that, well, because you did it a different way than the teacher, you must be wrong. I really love how uh, this lesson uh, encourages students to be creative and use the technique that they are most comfortable with. And, of course, if they need to, they can use scrap paper. But we're going to, uh, you wouldn't really need much scratch paper if you're using mental math. Anyway, let's get going on this. So let's do this problem right here. So it says 400 plus 368. So the idea would be um, students might say, well, let's start with 368. What does 368 look like? Well, 368 might look like 100, 100, 100. And then 60 would look like, oh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then 8 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's my model. One idea would be a model for 368. And then to add 400 to that would just be 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to add 400 to it. And so what's our answer? Well, we have how many hundreds do we have? We have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 hundreds. We still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 tens. And then we still have eight ones, so our answer would be seven hundred, six tens, eight ones. That's one way to do it. Uh, other students might prefer a little place value chart like this. So here's our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And they may model it 300, 60, 8 would then be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then add 400 would just 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's another way to do it, in which case you'd have 7 in the hundreds, 6 in the tens, 8 in the ones. Other students may choose the arrow method, 368, and then you add 400s gives you uh, 700. 68. So some students may be able to, that's kind of a more sophisticated method down here, using the arrow method. However they want to do it, at this point, that's okay, because the point is to develop number sense. I'm going to skip these problems for now, because I think you get the idea. If you're a parent or a, stu or a teacher, um, allow the students the opportunity to develop their own number sense, to make sure they develop meaning rather than just teach them a, a trick to get the answer. We really want students to develop that number sense. Similarly, um, let's do this 119 plus what is equal to 519. So the idea might, one student might use the arrow method. 119 plus what gives us 519. And of course we can see that that answer would be 400. But how do they get that? Well, one student might use the arrow method. Another student might want to use some sort of place value chart. So here's our hundreds, tens, and ones. And 119 would look like 100, 
110 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the ones column. So there's 119, but we eventually want 519. So what would, what would we have to do? Well, we'd have to add one more hundred, two, three, four more hundreds, and now we have 500, 110, and nine ones. So sure enough, you can see here that we would have to add four more hundreds. All right, we'll skip these two problems as well. Same concept, only now we're going to be subtracting. And again, we want students to use choice, use their arrow method, their mental math, or some other technique, place value charts, some other technique to help themselves understand the concept. So one idea for, let's do this problem right here, 628 minus 200. One method might be a place value chart. So here's our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And we can model 628. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 620 and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna extend these a little bit here. So there's our model of 628. And now we're going to take away or cross off 200s. Well, if you cross off 200s, cross off 1, cross off 1, that leaves us with 400s, 2 tens, and 8 ones. So now we get 428. Some other ideas that students might like, they might like the, the arrow method, 628, and then we can subtract 200s, well, you can think, students might say, well, I have 600s. I'm going to take away 200s. That's going to leave me with 400s plus the 20 and the 8. So really what might be going on in their mind is they might be thinking about 600s and taking away 200s. So that's that unit approach to what's going on here. And then, of course, the 28 stays the same, the 2 tens and the 8 ones, because nothing appears to be affecting them on this problem. So we're going to skip these other two. Same idea, just different level of complexity. So let's do this, this problem up here. So we have 553, and we need to go down to 153. Um, so... Uh, one way to do it is to use, of course, that place value chart. Hundreds, tens, ones. And we start off by modeling 500. There's 500. And then 50. And then 3. So there's our model for 553. And then it says we want to get down to only 153. So we can see that nothing is happening right here. We're leaving the tens alone and the, the ones alone. And we want to go from what started out as 500. Now we want to go down to just 100, one in the hundreds column. So that means we're going to have to cross off one, two, three, four. So that means we're going to subtract 400s in order to go from 500 down to 100. Another idea, arrow method might look like this. 553 minus what gives us 153. And the students can see, well, we're going from 500 to 100. So that means we're going to subtract 400. That's an idea. Uh, so we got a couple of ideas, and the idea, the whole main point of this is that students are choosing the technique that is most comfortable with them to develop that number sense before we go moving to that standard algorithm. Right, fill in the blanks to make true number sentences. So we're going to start off with a kind of a simple one. It says 300 more than 215. So students can use place value,
They can use number bonds or the arrow, arrow way. Really, the point is let the students develop familiarity with as many of these techniques as they can, but ultimately use the one that's most comfortable to them for this lesson. And I'm going to see if I can quickly show all three of those methods. So first off, the place value strategy. So we're going to start with our place value chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. And we're going to do 300 more than 215. So I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to model 200, 15. So that's 110, and 5 ones. Now if we want to add 300 to that, that means we're just going to add 3 in the tens, I mean in the 100s column. So that ends up giving us 500, 110, 5 ones. So the answer is 515. So let's zoom out here. So that gives us 515. So that's one way. Another way to do that, that's using place value. Another way is to think of the number bonds. So the other, what that means is we're going to think of this 215. We're going to think of that as 200 plus 15. Now if we want to add 300 to that, so that means this 200 plus this 300 gives us 500 plus the extra 15 that was left over right here. So you get 515. Okay, that's a, kind of an ugly way to think of it. Um, I don't know if I like the way I wrote this, but that's the idea of the number bonds, which is you take your 215 and you decompose it into hundreds. So there's your 200 and your 515 and then we're going to add 300, so you got your 200s plus your 300s, that gives us 500s. And then the last way that we can show it is the arrow method. And the arrow method is, all right, one way to model that would be 215 plus what? Well, we're adding 300. And so the idea would be students would say, oh, I have 200s, I'm adding 300s. So that means I'm going to have 500s plus the 15. So there's our three ways to do it. Place value, number bond, and the arrow method. And then this last one, I included this just because I looked at it and I thought, whoa, parents and teachers might kind of be confused. It's like, what is, what is this problem asking students to do? And then really, it would be obvious if the student or the teacher and the parent, I mean, uh, the parent, uh, was in the class to see what the teacher was teaching because this is part of the lesson plan. But coming home as homework, it might be confusing for the parent. So that's really why I included this one, which is it says 600, and then there's a blank, then 871 is 271. So really what they want here is they want us to identify less or more. All right, that's really what they're saying. So we've got 600, then 871 is 271. So really quickly, we can model this using a place value chart. So here's our hundreds, tens, and our ones. And we can model either one of these numbers, and it would lead us to the same, the proper answer. But, oh, let's do the... 871, so we'll model 871. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. So there's our 871, and it says we need to somehow relate 871 to 271, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'd have to cross off 6 hundreds, six of the dots in the hundreds column. So really that kind of gives us the clue that 600 less than 871 is 271. So that's the idea on this lesson, this problem, is they wanted us to write either the word less or more so that we can create a, a true 
number sentence. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 2, Adding and Subtracting Multiples of 100.